History was made today as Pope Francis addressed the president and the world at the White House. It's the Pontiff's first visit to the United States, and for millions of American Catholics, the Pope's U.S. visit is especially important. And some lucky Creighton students will actually have a chance to see the Pope while he's in this country. Brandon Scott is live at St. Cecilia's Cathedral, and Brandon joins us now with more. John and Mallory Creighton University is sending a bus full of students to the East Coast for what the school is calling a papal pilgrimage. Now this trip was offered on a first come first serve basis and all 50 slots were filled in less than two minutes. I dreamed of seeing the Pope, but I never actually thought I could do it. Eleanor Titimel is one of 50 Creighton University students who will soon make a pilgrimage to see the Pope. I'm beyond the world excited. I mean, I I don't know, I can already kind of feel the energy. I talk to a lot of my friends that are going on the trip as well, and everybody's just sort of antsy. They're just saying Friday just needs to get here. On Friday, Titimel and her fellow students will board a bus and travel 20 hours from Omaha to Philadelphia, where Pope Francis will deliver a public mass on Sunday. Millions of the Catholic faithful are expected to attend, each hoping to catch a glimpse of the man known to the church as the Holy Father. We're going to be a mile or two away. We're not going to get that close to him. We realize that. As Creighton's director of campus ministry, Kyle Lyric is leading the papal pilgrimage. Which cries out to heaven. This morning, as Pope Francis delivered his televised speech at the White House, Lyric watched and cried. I was caught by the emotional response I had. I found myself crying um, and I, when I sat with that, I was like, what's, what's going on with this? It just was a feeling of joy that we have somebody who's a world leader that's talking about love. And I just thought that's not something we get to hear a lot about, especially in the political realm. Pope Francis is recognized for his leadership, rooted in humility and compassion. For Tatimel, that kind of leadership is an inspiration. I feel that in today's day and age, like a lot of people are not very into the church, especially people my age. And I think with his kind of servant leadership and with his kind of inspiration, that's something that can really draw people in. Now this pilgrimage to see the Pope really will be a pilgrimage in every sense of the word. The students will be sleeping on the floor of a gymnasium once they arrive in Philadelphia. And when they're there, they'll be walking everywhere they go. John and Mallory. All right, thanks, Brandon.